Good Sir Knight. Super awesome! Greetings everyone, the Good Sir Knight here, and today we will be reviewing a gas mask. Now, not very descriptive, fairly generic. Why? Because I honestly haven't been able to find very much information at all about this gas mask. I was able to pick it up off of a unspecified and nameless friend of mine. And from everything I've looked into it, there's only a few bit of details I could find. Obviously the most easily accessible is the MSA number, 12940-TAC-180. And I found a picture of it from a deleted website, but what little information could be gleaned stated, unverified by me, but to the best of my knowledge, that this was basically the more old school Navy SEAL style gas mask. Now this one has a ballistic cover over the front, a single eyepiece. And it looks like this could be modified to hold a second filter if you so choose, but it's right now equipped with a brand new, never before used, uh, 40 millimeter filter. I can't remember the company that makes it, but definitely a larger filter than the type you would generally want on a uh, government or military issue gas mask. However, The key thing here is there's one filter attached on the left side. The right side looks like it could, but I'm not entirely sure. But the big thing is, with having it on the left side, is that it reduces the impact that the gas mask is going to have on your shooting arm. Which is good. And of course I've got this set up and ready to go. So, cool looking mask. I like the yellow filter. I like red and yellows for lenses because it makes movement pop a lot more. Which is great. So, additionally, as you can see in here, there is a drinking straw, which isn't what I was about to get to, but there is a drinking straw, and there is a comms unit. So the comms actually runs up under here. Here's the hose attachment right down here, but the comms can actually, no, they don't run through here. They run right into the front of it. So you can still use comms with this gas mask, which is probably another key perk to it. But all that being stated, I still haven't found inserts. So my ability to use this effectively has been marginalized but I do think I can find some sort of insert to make this work or work some sort of witchcraft magic but attaching it put the gas mask on throw this over your head tighten these side straps like so where's that other one? Oh, oh I'm gonna die of poison gas no there you go poison gas poison gas. clear And we're breathing, everyone. So I am not dead, although it is not the most comfortable thing in the world to wear. And additionally, I'm already nearsighted, so now I am practically blind. I can't really make out what's going on, but I'm not dead. So hey, so if you're the kind of person who has a significant other who tends to be incredibly gaseous, this is probably a... Uh, a solution to your problem and the adapter for comms means that they will still be able to hear you and understand everything you're saying and i have no idea how this is coming over on the camera but to me it sounds pretty terrible now gas masks generally suck to wear this one being no exception uh when you're using a gas mask you're probably gonna want a handgun now i can still make stuff out with a handgun works pretty well then if we move on to say an M45, we still need to be able to shoot. And uh oh, I can't look down the sights anymore. Here we run into a problem. So what I'm gonna have to do is kind of, kind of, yeah. If you're wearing a gas mask, you're probably not gonna be engaging things at range. So a submachine gun actually makes more sense than say an actual assault rifle. Although I can, thank God for some machine guns, pull the stock out of the way, and I can aim down it from an angle. However, accuracy is going to be reduced, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to actually fucking hit anything. Although, I can see the sight, and I can see goats and everything. There's things out there. 
Well, that sucks. And as you can see, it's actually not terribly easy to breathe. Well, it's easy to breathe. It's hard to talk and breathe at the same time because of the way the filters work. So, imagine, if you will, you're wearing this gas mask, a bunch of mob gear, so you don't have to imagine. Sorry. But if you were, you're not only standing here trying to talk and hurting your voice to make sure you're projecting and the microphone might pick you up, but in addition to all that, you're now wearing, oh, I don't know, 80 pounds of gear and you're running everywhere, trying to breathe and not die. And I guarantee you, maybe not this one, but other versions, particularly the heat, are going to fog up and you're going to be blind anyway, so... The moral of the story is, if you're ever wearing a gas mask, you're already having a bad time. But, I don't know, if the gas doesn't kill you, there's a good chance people farther away with guns will. Or you're in a building, at which point, it's gonna suck, but it could be worse. Now the key solution I would nominate for a gas mask is a laser. That works. There you there, there it is. Go on, get brighter. I need to see you with my blind self. Now a laser will basically solve your aiming issue with a gas mask. I wish I knew more about this one, but it's awesome and I have a gas mask. So I don't know if this is a review <coughs> or a rambly vlog, but try to talk in this thing and be heard is incredibly painful. So I'm gonna stop now. And I hope you enjoyed my suffering. I hope this was fun for you. Like it was fun for me. Although, one last note. Uh, okay, so, one last note. Is that you get to wear a helmet. But the chin strap totally sucks. Because you can't chin normally with a Fancy four point spec off, so you gotta run it under your chin and probably loosen it a bit and clip it in place. Ah, I'm not gonna do it now. Now I'm gonna do it now for the video. Oh, it's pinching so hard. Oh, it sucks. Ah, like I said, everything about the gas mask sucks. Which is probably why it's used little more than as a pillow or thrown in a sea bag. Or one of the first things of the numerous hundreds of pounds you will be carrying. So all that being said, uh, I hope I never have to use one. Oh, well, I'm actually talking quite loud. I can't tell because I was wearing a gas mask. So hey, more of the story. It's cool, it's yellow, and has a filter, and maybe if your eyes don't suck like mine do, you'll be fantastic. But on the bright side, it looks cool, right? And that's all that matters ever in military-related equipment. Not if it functions well, or if it's practical, or if it's too heavy, as long as it looks cool. Cheers, everyone. See you in the next video.